Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make pancake batter from scratch so you don't actually have to use those really not very good tasting pancake mix boxes. So now we have whole milk, we have iodized salt, we have baking powder, sugar, flour, we have one three-fourths cup measuring cup and one one cup measuring cup. We have a one fourth cup measuring cup. We have butter. We have a little glass bowl so we can melt this butter. This is woo, four tablespoons of butter. Tablespoons? Yeah, tablespoons. Tablespoons. Then we have two eggs and we have a big bowl for all of our stuff and we have our whisk and we have a skillet that way, which is behind me, and I'll move the camera in a little while just so you can see us cook. But we're gonna start with all the dry ingredients, and I will actually list those out now. So you need flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and that's it. Once you have all that stuff, we'll lay it out and we'll get started. Hey everyone, so we are back with our flour, sugar, baking powder, and sea salt, sea salt? It's iodized sea salt, so. Um, and we have our big mixing bowl. So we're gonna start with flour. So you need one and three-fourths cup flour. So one cup and then a three-fourths cup. Uh, why not? So one and three-fourths. Here, we we'll use, we'll use this to get it better. All right, now we have our one three-fourths cup flour. We are going to get one-fourth cup of sugar, right? Yeah, one-fourth cup. We'll just make it about level, as close as we can get it. Oh, you might hear that noise it's outside. Okay, and now we're gonna get our one-fourth cup, or one-fourth, one-half, not one-fourth, I'm sorry, one-half, I don't know if you can see that. One half teaspoon of salt. I actually probably shouldn't do it over the mix. <sighs> Can't really level that very well, but it's okay if we make a mess. It's part of cooking. Now we're gonna get our one tablespoon of baking powder. That's all. Cool. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna mix it all together. Now, it is important that you don't mix in any of the wet ingredients, so like the butter or the milk or uh, anything like that, because once you mix them in, you only have about 30 minutes before the batter starts to change. And it but well, yeah, um, once the batter changes, it only affects the fluffiness of your pancakes, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. And you can actually let it sit overnight, but it's best if you cook them within 30 minutes or start to. So once I have them all mixed in, you don't have to mix them in that well, I'm going to make like a little divot. Like that, a little hole. Uh, I guess we'll just have our whisk here, and we are going to get out the next ingredients. Okay, now that we have all of our wet ingredients out, so the milk, the butter, and the two eggs, we are going to put them in our mixing bowl, and we have this little divot so it kind of contains them in the middle, and it doesn't just already start to mix everything. So we need to melt this one half stick butter, or four tablespoons of butter. So we're going to melt it in the microwave, 
Um, and then we'll get the other stuff. Okay, I melted the butter. And as soon as this butter is in, I'm going to use the same cup to measure out some milk. And um, the reason I didn't do the milk first is because I didn't want to put milk through the microwave because I don't think that'd be very good. So once we have this stuff in, like I said, we only have about 30 minutes now to mix everything in and get it all ready for the grill. So for my griddle, I have an electric skillet and yeah, and uh, I have an electric skillet and I'm going to turn it up to 350 degrees um, and Fahrenheit and once we do that well obviously Fahrenheit I don't really have to say Fahrenheit when it comes to cooking just because um Celsius is like I don't know that'd be like 4,000 degrees or something and that's obviously a lot more than there should be 4,000 so as you can see it's starting to turn into a batter but I'm gonna preheat my little griddle and we'll get this all mixed up now you don't want to mix it too much or you'll make the pancakes tough and tough pancakes are no good. So, uh, once you see about no dry in here, so I'm gonna scrape some of the edges and stuff and mix that in, but I don't see any dry in here. <clears throat> so I'm actually done mixing. And I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my griddle. And okay, so out. I know we already added milk and um, like I didn't add too little, but once we mix it in, see it's not quite the right consistency. It's a little bit thick. So we're gonna add about one third cup more into what we already had. Wait, I'm on the wrong side for measurements. Okay. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. Then I'm gonna mix that in, pour a little bit more in. I should just pour it all in. There, now we have about the right consistency. It's a kind of a goopy. We could probably add just a touch more because if we lift that up, but it should be fine. It looks about right and it feels about right and it's pretty smooth. So we're gonna go ahead, as soon as our grill is ready, griddle then we will um put these on and start to cook them have gone worse actually it could have but i made this separately for his little visor or his little dome so his legs are not proportionate i tried to fix it and i think i made it worse but it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look great it's probably like a zombie one you know a zombie imposter he's the imposter he's the imposter so anyway now, the reason I showed you butter earlier is because if you want, like, I would recommend it, put butter in your pancakes and then syrup. And now that we've cooked them, uh, you can eat them because they're ready. And I guess that's it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And also, I am probably going to start doing my, or I'm definitely going to start doing my Henry Stickman videos again. I haven't recorded one of those in a while, so Friday should be that, unless I upload on Wednesday instead. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell for notifications. Rolling out.